Hey guys, welcome back to more Road Trip Adventure with Fullboy V5. In the last part, we finished the Rank A races and got started on the World Grand Prix. Um, in this part, we're going to be carrying on the World Grand Prix. Um, a few things that um, changed from last time. One, of course, I'm in Fuji City now for the second race of the World Grand Prix. Um, another thing as well is I've changed my parts and my teammates' parts. I've only changed the, the big tyres uh, from the racing tyres, uh, both on Wolf and Diaz as well. Um, Something else I've done is I had enough money, so I bought two more water skis just in case, because I think I am going to use the water ski. Um, and I also bought two more wing sets. So I don't know why my teammates would need them. I don't even know why I need one, but you know, it's good to have anyway, so I bought it anyway. Right, and so let's get started on the World Grand Prix. Well, can't continue it. Second stage of the World Grand Prix takes place at Temple Raceway in Fuji City. The trick lies in how you drive the moat. The moat? Are you ready for the race? Okay, yeah. Take it easy. Relax. Take it easy. Oh God! I tell you what, no, no X Factor or American Idol or whatever for me. In fact, I don't know why I'm going to talk about this, but um, I don't even know why I've mentioned X Factor or anything like that. But apparently, American Idol is now called X Factor USA. To me, that's just weird. I don't know why they left it. In fact, I don't know why they changed it from Pop Idol to X Factor here. So, oh well, there you go. Um. Before anyone asks, well actually, uh, quite a few people have asked, um, I have already decided what body I'm going to use for fighting the president, or racing the president. Um, uh, you might be a bit disappointed, um, as some people were with this one, but some people did like this one as well, so, you know, all comes down to personal preference really. And Wolf, you have to do better, we cannot allow you to be 10 or whatever. And why, why is my position counter flickering? Oh well. Um, yeah, I've already chosen, so. And, uh, well, speaking of that, actually, will people please stop begging me to use a body, right? I've actually closed the, um, I'm not going to do any more, like, suggestions or taking in for bodies, because we've gone past that bit of the game now. Um, in fact, I will admit, I do apologise that I, I probably should have done it earlier in the Let's Play, but I didn't really think anyone was that bothered about the bodies. Um, changing my body every five minutes because uh, in my my let's well not my let's play so in my playthroughs of this game before I was just stuck with the same body all the way through because that doesn't really bother me. Um, I usually pick one body. I like that. That's my that's me. That, that's my car body. Uh, and I just use that really. So um, I do apologise that I didn't think of it sooner. And that's probably my only regret for this let's play at the moment. So. Put a bit of emphasis on the play there, but oh well. Um, let's see. I know it's the end of the game, but oh well, let's talk about a few things that um, I find interesting. Uh, let's see what's coming out soon. In fact, you know what? Um, I had this debate before on video, so I'm going to mention it now. I agree with most of um, the Wii's fans saying that the Wii is too casual, and it is, it is too casual. The same with the DS, really. I mean, the DS, when it first came out, it... I don't think... Now, I don't really know what it was marketed at, but I swear it wasn't really marketed towards, like, the family or... all people, so... Uh, but when the DS first came out, you did have the hardcore games, or, like, more dedicated Nintendo games, that, games like uh, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and... Um, well, Animal Crossing's a bit of a casual game, and... Um, uh, what is it? New Super Mario Bros. DS. Uh, but yeah, you had all them games, then towards the DS lifespan you had, oh, Family Pets, or Learn Magic, or Pop Idol, or Pop Superstar, dress up your character, and shit like that. I just didn't see the point in that, and thank god DS, you elite, no, DS, uh, Wolfie came before, so that's alright. Uh, DS came second as well, so we should have a, a good thingy, and where did Jackie come? Bloody hell, Jackie came 20th. Alright, okay then, let's see. Right, so we're quite far ahead now because Jackie's team did quite shit there. Um, and Harrison, Team Harrison's catching up with him, so we're okay at the moment. How's the race? Great, yeah. That's nice, okay. World Grand Prix, third decision World Grand Prix takes place at Night Grove Race, World Race Ray in San Paulus. It's not here. What do you want to do? Um, once again, I'm going to be using the big tyres for this. I'm not really going to change anything around, so I don't, I'm not even cutting, so I don't even know why I'm trying to end off like I am. Uh, but yeah, um, I will admit right now that. One sec, we're yeah. 
Um, I will admit right now that I think obviously Nintendo like rating the money. Uh, try, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Nintendo rating the money with the Wii because it was aimed at everybody. And I mean everybody, like any person that it didn't even game. Um, and Nintendo lost a lot of its hardcore market. Um, and I think Xenoblade Chronicles is. I know it's not a popular game, and it's doing well for a new game here in Europe. It's doing pretty okay at the moment. Um, considering it's just a new title, and like no one's heard of it unless they've been following Project Rainfall. Uh, not Project Operation Rainfall. Uh, but that's. I think that's recapturing some of Nintendo's hardcore market just in time for like the Wii U release. I think. Is the Wii U get released next year, or has it just been like announced at E3 and shown more off next year? I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, either way, though. I do think that Nintendo should just make a console like the GameCube game, but with better online features than that. I do wish it did stop going for the family uh, marketing thing. Um, I don't really mind. I mean, I do like the Wii as a console, but like, like this year, like loads of people said, it, and I agree with them. There are no games to look forward to on the Wii. I mean, there's Mario Party now, which I'm quite looking forward to. Uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, which I'm, I haven't really seen being that interested in, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Um, and it's luckily that uh, my luckily, luckily, luckily that I found Xenoblade Chronicles because I wasn't going to buy it um, until Gaming Number Ninety Eight was saying how good it was on his uh, channel. Then I looked at a review of it by IGN, and IGN actually did a good review for once. Um, so I bought the game, and I will admit it's it is probably um, I'm not sure. I have quite a few good games to wait, but it's probably definitely up there. It, no, not probably. It is definitely up there. Of all uh, my other favourite games for the Wii. Um, the thing is that I haven't got many Wii games. I've only got 14, 13, I think, somewhere around there. I've sold most of them, not most of them, but um, quite a few of them I've got because they're just rubbish. Um, and I'm quite picky with games. I like look at the back and like sometimes the back can be a really misleading concept. Like just like say movie tie-in games. Some of them have some good blurbs on the back, or like information on the back that make you want to buy the game, and it convinces you to. But once you get it, you're like, "This is shit." I will admit, the only decent movie tie-in games I've played are probably the two, the two Harry Potter's for PS1, and uh, the Incredibles for uh, PS2. And I'm running, running low on fuel, so I better not use my jet turbine that much. Um, what was I saying anyway? Yeah, uh, but I do wish they just would make an ordinary console again. Um, I do think that Nintendo are great trying to like revolutionise gaming and that, and I've got a text now. I do think Nintendo are great re trying to revolutionise gaming, but I don't know. It, it just seems too... Like, even now, I don't really care what Xbox uh, 360 and PS3 fanboys think, but it is true. Like, loads of people just see PS3 and 360 as uh, the two consoles in this era. And it's not. The Wii is there as well. And the Wii sales are dying now. They're going down loads. So. And apparently there's been a Wii release with. It's a Wii. Um, basically the same. It's just got no GameCube uh, game support. So it's not backwards compatible. Which I think is a total waste of money. I mean, why would you do that? Why? What is the point in doing that? I mean, I. Uh, in all honesty, I don't know why the PS3 took the uh, PS2 backwards compatibility out. Because, in all honesty, um, I won't buy a PS3 and I won't buy a 360, but it'll be another reason for me to buy the PS3. So, um, Luckily, Nintendo haven't lost me yet as a, like a hardcore market gamer, but I do reckon they should. They need to hurry up bringing out more hardcore games, because uh, the Wii is just over, over-dominated by bloody, really cheap, really badly made party games. There's quite a few good ones, but that's about it. And let's have a look at my Wii game. Oh crap, we did, my team did quite badly there. Well done guys, well done. Oh, it's alright, we're still going okay. How's the race? Uh, it was good. Alright, okay, right. Uh, fourth stage is Snow Mountain Raceway and right Mount White Mountain. So, uh, once again, I'm just going to keep on the uh, stuff I've gotten already. Uh, let's see. White Mountain. I don't even know why the fourth stage is in White. Sorry, I don't even know why the fourth stage is in White Mountain because it's like the sixth or seventh city or whatever. So I don't know. 
And if you're wondering, uh, just so you're prepared, um, the pre Race Against the President is on the endurance um, run course. It's not like 10 laps like the actual endurance run, but it is. Um, the endurance run is about 3 laps, I think. Right, I think most of these cars have HG Studless on. So, they're going to be faster in ice, or snow, or whatever. When is the race in this game? Oh yeah, the pond and the thingy. Mind you, oh yeah, it's also here as well. But I think it's counted as snow, so... Oh well. I better not use all my fuel on this one. Let's see, where am I? Doing okay at the moment. First, oh god, no, not no, oh crap. Uh, did I suggest on rank A race to, uh, for the HG Studless to be worn? Because I, I recommend it now as well. Uh, you can't with, with big tyres, but you know, it's always nice to have uh, the extra support. It's like bras. <laughs> Bloody hell, DS. You've only really got a speed max and you're going way faster than me. Who's behind me? Jackie, if that's you, I won't be happy. And, um, thank you to you, I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry, uh, but he reminded me that, uh, I think it's Maticus Madness, I think it's that, um, he reminded me and commented on the last video saying that, uh, obviously, the stages up to now, you know, but the ones after, uh, the fifth one is, uh, Lava Room Raceway in Chestnut Canyon, the sixth one is Lagoon Raceway in Bayer Island, and the last one is Slick Track in Mushroom Road. So, there you go. I've only got one more lap of this. And it's weird because DS was always the one doing really crap um, on my other playthroughs. But bloody hell. Oh, it's got his jet turbine going, that's why. But um, Wolf was the one that always did really well. But Wolf, you're doing crap. Oh well. As long as you come first and second, I think you'll be alright. As long as you don't come 24, because then you only get one point. I think the most uh, you get a race is 30, then after that it goes down one point for each position. Hang on, no, it won't go down one point because there's only 24 races, so somewhere on a line it'll go down two or something. And yes, why are you going down around a long way where you can just cut across here? Alright, come on, near the finish line. I will, oh, I'm gonna beat you, Diaz. No, Diaz, don't get stuck. Oh my god, Diaz, no. Oh my god, Diaz, no. Who is actually behind Diaz? I suppose we'll find out in a minute. I don't want to uh, risk going on a pause menu again and accidentally quit and retire. That was bad. I got, that really pissed me off. <clears throat> right, it was third. Uh, Jackie was, of course he is. Right, let's see where we are at the moment. Well, we are getting most of the points each time. So, we are doing okay at the moment. That was a race. You know what? It was terrible. Well, I thought you did okay. Oh, Q. Q's my biggest fan. Go Q. Okay, so in the next part, we're going to be carrying on and possibly finishing off the Grand Prix by going to Lava Room Raceway, uh, Lagoon Raceway, and Slick Track. So I shall see you 